Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. Happy Friday. How is everyone doing today? I hope all is well. Hope all is well. I hope you guys woke up in good energy, good spirits. And don't allow anything to interrupt your happiness and your peace today, my collective, or any day. You feel me? Um, I'm here on one day at a time. One step at a time. Uh, one day at a time, sweet Jesus. If that's, you know, whatever you're, whoever you worship, whoever you call on, as long as it's of the higher good here, right? That's all I'm asking of you. Lord, give me the strength to do everything that I couldn't do. Okay, I get messages through songs, channels messages through songs, okay? Yesterday's gone, and there's no turning back, right? What's done is already done. It's all take what, what happened, take it, learn, learn the lesson, keep it pushing, right? All right, Mother Isis, Father God, as I open these realms, protect my energy. Angels of the highest white light, I ask that you guard and protect me, my aura. Okay, um, give me clear, honest messages for those who need to hear it. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus. Okay, yesterday's gone. Keep hearing the song, okay? Wow. Lord, give me the strength to do everything that I couldn't do. Forgive me if I ain't got the lyrics correct, okay? But y'all know what I mean. All right. Use me as a vessel, so mote it be. Mm. Nice cup of coffee this morning with my sea moss in it. Mm. Anyways, let's get the day popping, baby. Let's see what's popping. Excuse me? Please turn that vent off. My girls are homeschooled, so if you hear me talking to my children. Okay, don't worry about it. Lord, give me the strength to do everything that I couldn't do. All right, this is the chariot energy. This is your spiritual card. Seven is a spiritual card. And this is also representing of the temperance of me as well, okay? See that 14 right there? Somebody might feeling a little overwhelmed, okay? Within the spirit. The spirit probably feels a little burdened, okay? Overwhelmed. But spirit is like, don't worry, we got you. All right? You just, you, we got you. Strength is here. Um, determination here. You got the power within you, okay? Every answer that you're seeking, um, every, 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 everything that you're seeking is within Okay, my collective, it's all within. Um, if you're seeking some type of spiritual clarity here, you're going to get the results that you want. This cycle is about to be over, okay, with this eight. the cycle is about to be over, okay? Continue with your prayers and your manifestations, okay? Be patient with yourself as well, okay? Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow. Lord, give me the strength to do everything one day at a time. All right, my collective. All right, let's see what's popping for you, my collective. Wow. Yeah, somebody's in hermit energy. But, you know, with this change coming, my collective, you can't sit here and worry yourself. Whatever it is that you're worried about, you got to let it go, honey. Mm -hmm. You got to move on. This is like my Six of Swords energy. It's time for transition. It's time for change. Um, for somebody here, they could have lost a loved one here as well, my collective. My condolences, okay? Somebody could have con uh, transitioned here, okay? Um, mm. Or something is coming to a finale, okay? Uh, but you got to get this off your head. You know, somebody's feeling a little isolated here. Or, you know, uh, some healing needs to take place here. Um, but with this hermit energy, it's like, like I told you earlier, go within. All the answers you need are within. Okay. 
Your spirit guides are around you. You're being protected as well, my collective. Um, um, things might seem a little out of balance for you right now, um, but it will realign itself. The universe, God, you know, everything happens for a reason. You might not see that reason right now, um, but you can't worry yourself, okay? This change is happening for a reason. Somebody is going through like a dark night of the soul as well too, feeling isolated. Um, you could be going through that period of that, like I said, that dark night of the soul where this change is coming and you're like, what the hell is going on with me? You're getting a lot of visions. It seems a little crazy for you. It seems a little off. Um, you might be, some of y'all might be seeing um, uh, people who transitioned as well, my collective. You might be getting seeing people who transitioned um, with the with, with your spiritual eye here, okay? Yeah, some of y'all might be seeing dead people, okay? Yeah, you might be communicating here with dead people here, people who passed on or a loved one that passed on here, okay? It's trying to communicate to you. All right. All right, are still reminiscing over someone that passed away, okay? But it's a death to a situation, and at the end of the... When something is, uh, when something's dead, it's something for, it's, it's time for growth, new growth. All right. It's time for growth. It's time for change. All right. Somebody's definitely going through the dark night of the soul as well. Yeah. Yeah. You're isolating your energy. You're not communicating with anyone right now. Whoever this is, it doesn't have to be you, my collective. It could be somebody wanting your forgiveness. Oh, oh. Oh, um, this plus two fell in reverse. Lord, give me the strength to do everything that I couldn't do. I feel like somebody let go of a karmic soul tie here, whether it's with friends, uh, a lover. Um, I feel like somebody let go of a karmic soul tie here. Yeah. In this in this relationship, there was no balance. There was no real partnership here. Okay. Mm -mm. There was no real partnership here. I feel like you were the only one that was being genuine in this relationship. You know what I mean? You were the only one that was giving on to these people or this person. You were the only one. Two plus two is four. Right, you're the only one that was being loyal to the situation, being loyal, being committed to the situation. But this, these people, or this person who you were around, this person would always interrupt your balance, interrupt your peace. Um, this person would have you like make it seem like you were cray cray. You know what I mean? Like they, this is somebody that likes to flip the, the flip the script on you. You know, by the time you get, by the time you're at the end of an argument with this person or these people, they will make you look in the mirror, looking at yourself like you crazy. You know what I'm saying? Got you looking crazy out here. You know what I'm saying? They'll make you believe these are people that believe their own lies. And so they would project these negative energies onto you that would try to keep you down, try to break your self-esteem, uh, try to break your self-confidence. You know what I mean? Because these people are insecure within themselves. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you were always loyal in the situation, my collective. You're the one that was trustworthy. You know what I mean? You was trying to manifest growth with these people. You was really trying to... I feel like you gave your loyalty. You gave your all in these partnerships, these relationships. Um, but... Yeah. But Spirit says you are deserving of real true love. You're, deliver, you're deserving of a true, true partnership here. Okay? You're deserving of a true partnership here. Alright? No doubt about it. You're dealing with people who... Just can't. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. These people are lacking in their own passion. These people are lacking in their own growth. There was blocking you from your ascension as well, my collective. Okay, whoever this person is or people, whoever they are, definitely blocking your ascension because you are a divine feminine, divine masculine energy here. Okay, high priestess energy could be dealing with a Pisces or you are the Pisces. Okay. 
But you have to listen to your higher self. Go within and listen to your higher self here. Okay? You're very intuitive. And I feel like you did. I, like I said, you try to... You really try to show these people love. You did. But like I said, you were dealing with karmic soulmates. Two of Cups energy here. Okay? You were dealing with karmic soulmates. You see that plus two is in reverse. That's in reverse. These people were never ever loyal. Untrustworthy. Lacking in their own confidence. And I feel like, you know, it was time to move on. These people was keeping you on repetitive cycles. Karmic cycles. Repetitive karmic cycles in these relationships. You understand? But it was time to bring it to an end. Okay? Uh, these people were very codependent on you with this 10th house energy, Capricorn energy. You know, you're a hard worker. You're a go-getter. But these people, they were lacking in their own ambition. Okay? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. They don't, you, anything that you would try to accomplish being around these people, you would never be able to accomplish that. No. Uh, these people are just very confused. All they brought to your life was illusions. Pisces energy, you know, they would misconstrue, misconstrue, uh, anything that you say, like I said, they will flip the script on you. You know what I mean? Um, but with the seven Libra energy, I feel like with the, you could be dealing with a Libra or you are the Libra or a Leo or Capricorn here or Pisces here. Take it how it resonates. Doesn't matter. Um, it was time for you to move on. It was time for you to find, see the truth in the situation. Cause you were dealing with karmics. All right. It was time to see the truth of the matter. You have to take the time to really reflect and reassess over anything it's like you always in and i feel like some of y'all was going through a legal court a legal battle with these people as well okay some of these people you have to take to court because they owe you money or they're always in some type of judgment here some type of court situation here okay i don't know why somebody um i'm hearing um you almost lost your house to this person or these people okay could be dealing with family here like I said, this relationship here was karmic soulmates, okay? These are people who you genuinely love, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. But Spirit says you're very loving. You see, this this four, this is like the cancer energy here. This is the fourth house, cancer. And you're very nurturing. You're very compassionate. Like I said, you're very loyal to these people, you know? Uh, but it was time for you to move on, honey. You were dealing with karmics, like I said. Uh, these people would wish ill intent on you. Um, mm. These people would be the type of people that would talk shit behind your back. Behind your back. Seven, eight, nine. Uh-huh. But like I said, Spirit said it was time for you to move forward and isolate your energy from these people. It was time for change. It was time for healing. Because these people, you were dealing with people with a lot of unhealed wounds here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You were very, you, I mean, you're very responsible. And a lot of people depended on you, depended on you for whenever they needed some type of money, take care of their bills, take care of the household, whatever they needed, you were always there for them. But you got to allow these people to be responsible on their own and focus on your own growth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Focus on your own growth, my collective. It's real talk out here. No more shuffling hands with these people. No more doing that with these people, okay? Mm. Some of these people are very demanding. Very demanding, very controlling. They thought they was going to always have an upper hand over you, my collective, okay? If you told anybody of these, if you these people who you are in a relationship with, if they know your darkest secrets, these very same people will talk about your business behind your back. They, no matter what you, if you confined in them, poured out your heart and your emotions to them, and when you are in your most vulnerable stage, they'll take that same, uh, take take that whatever you told them when you're at your most vulnerable stage in life, they'll take it and throw it back in your face. These are the type of energies you are dealing with. Yeah, yeah. These are the type of energies you were dealing with. These people were family members, people who you would call a friend, you know, whoever that you consider these people to be to you, my collective. But they weren't real. They weren't real with you. Nah, nah. So Spirit was like, it's time to move on, okay? Because they're very, this, this is some people who just fuck, play with your emotions. Things that you would tell them when you were at your most vulnerable stages in your life, they would take it and throw it right back in your face. And that's not cool. 
That's not cool at all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Let's get the tarot on this, okay? It was time for you to move on, honey. Time to block these people to a source energy. Listen to your intuition, because I feel like some of y'all already knew, but you know, you're very loyal. Like I said, you got a loving heart. It's like a king of cups, queen of cups energy here. Very loving heart here, okay? But you're a divine feminine, divine masculine here. High priest, high priestess energy here, all right? But you got to protect that energy. You got to protect that energy. You can't, You. it's like you look at everyone and see yourself in people, but seeing yourself in others and trying to heal them, you can't heal those who don't want to be healed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, chariot energy. Didn't I tell you, you, gotta, didn't I tell you king of cups? There it go, okay? King of cups energy, chariot. You got to hold those feelings back. As much as you're very loving, kind, want to give on to others, want to help others, um... You got to move it. You got to keep it forward. You got to push it. Keep pushing right here. Keep it pushing with that chariot energy. You see what I'm saying right here? They go to chariot and they're that king of cups, emperor, emperor energy. You feel me? These people are just going to keep you stuck. Kangman energy. You will never be able to get anywhere in life with these people. All right? Yeah. You have to see the truth of the matter. Some of these people, you have to take them to court. Okay? You didn't want to. Or maybe y'all should have and you didn't. You didn't take that action to do so. You know, you, these are the type of people that you would try to reason with, try to, you know, find some type of balance and try to justify for their bullshit. But you, you, you couldn't do that for too long. These people are going to keep draining you, you know, really start draining you here. Some of y'all, it was a marriage here, a long-term relationship here. Okay. Hmm. What else am I getting here? Some of y'all, it's a very, like, uh, uh, somebody you were married to, but you had to make an executive decision here, all right? You had to make a, a decision here. Are you going to stay in this family situation with this person, or are you going to let it go, okay? And I feel like spirit is like, this person as well, my collective, this person, if it's a personal relationship, some of them cheated on you um, with a family member, mm -hmm. or this is the person who you have a family with, and they would step out of the relationship. They weren't loyal. Definitely not loyal, definitely not trustworthy. This person is somebody that likes to prey on your confidence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's going on here, Spirit? People who held a lot of secrets from you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They kept you fearful. They made it seem like, you know, you can't move on without them. How you gonna do this? Seven of Swords energy. Very deceptive energy. Very sneaky, very manipulating, you know, all had you all up in your head, had you thinking like you the one that was crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was time for you to move on because these people were never going to change. People that would lie behind your back, deceive you behind your back, do shit behind your back, talk about you, cheat on you. Okay, four of pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like with this four of pentacles here, uh, this person, these people depended on you for security. They depended on you solely because you're the one that's abundant right here. You're the one that's the action taker, the go-getter. You know what I mean? You're the one that's extremely ambitious. These people depended on you. Okay. Or the person who you were dealing with, they must have felt as if you couldn't move on without them because, you know, you needed this person for security. Four pentacles energy here. Uh, but it's like you couldn't save any money with these people either, my collective. No, you could not. No, you could not. You have to walk away from this. Turn your back on that. It was time to let go. Chariot energy. Move forward. See the truth of the matter. You know what I'm saying? Take time to reflect, rest, and reflect, reassess over this situation. Some of y'all was dealing with an Aquarius or you are the Aquarius. Okay? Time to move on. Time to move on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm picking up a Six of Swords energy here right now. Four of Swords energy. Put shit to rest. Learn your lesson here. Heal. Move on. Yeah, because these people is causing delays in your life. Two of Pentacles, okay? Three of Wands energy here, okay? I feel like some of y'all was uh, waiting, waiting for this person to acknowledge your love or these people to acknowledge how much you truly love them. But deep down in your subconscious, you know these people were never going to change. You have to see things from a higher perspective here, my collective. You have to walk away. And I feel like now with the Three of Wands, you have moved on. With the Three of Wands, you turned your back on all of this. You're more focused on your future now. If you haven't done that, then that's, that's what you need to do. Okay? Somebody's in fear of letting go of a relationship here or was in fear. Okay? Oh, King of Cups energy again. There it go. 
Okay. I feel like now, um, for some of y'all, you gotta get you like you gotta find the strength um holding back your emotions on these people. You have to find that strength, okay? Hold that uh, find that find that strength to hold back on the emotions here. Control it. All right. Learn to control that. And I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like that's what you're doing. It's the hardest thing for you to do because you're very compassionate, very loving energy here. All right. You're the type that would juggle everything for everybody. Two of Pentacles represent that Capricorn energy like I was picking up right here with this 10. It's like, you know, everybody come to you uh, to, you know, they, everybody throw their problems at you, my collective. They throw their problems at you. So you're juggling your business, their business. But yet these people are they're like they're 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 toxic. They talk shit behind your back. These are people who are in fear of making decisions or making the wrong moves. They can't make any moves without you or this person made you feel like without them, you can't make any moves. You know what I mean? To a pentacles energy here. You know what I mean? So, you know, ooh, ooh, seven of pentacles energy here. Is this seven? Yep, seven of pentacles. But spirit says, slow and steady growth, baby. Okay, slow and steady growth. I feel like now that you have turned your back on here, I feel like some of you guys are getting your finances back in balance as well. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, yep, yep. Because you're the real independent one here. You're the one that's really creative. You know what I mean? But everybody else, like I said, you have to allow them to go take responsibility for themselves. We've seen that nine. See, we this these people need to take responsibility of their own. Everybody came to you to throw and threw their responsibilities on you, my collective. Or oh, you know what I mean? Yes, this is nine pentacles altogether. Slow and steady growth. I feel like you now can, uh, you know, reevaluate when it comes to your money. Get your, your books back in balance. Get your finances back in balance. You know, a lot of these people put you in debt. You know, some of them had you going to court. Some of them, they crashed your car. Or you, you signed a car loan for them. Or you co-signed for them. You know what I mean? Something here, you know? But now you have to get yourself back. You invested so much in these people, so much energy and time into these people when it comes to your finances as well. You know, these people took advantage of your love, your kindness, but you have to be strong and hold back. Yeah, you have to hold back. You know, you were hoping that these people would pay you back one day in the near future, but they would never. They would never. They got what they wanted from you. And once they got what they wanted from you, they moved on. But it's, but it's like a rinse and repeat keep repeating these karmic cycles and it was time to let go. It's like a wheel of what? It's time for this situation to end. It's time for it to end. Okay. Yeah. Time to end. Queen of Swords energy. You have to see things from a higher perspective. Like I said, didn't I tell you that like you, you just like, you got to cut the bullshit out. You got to see the truth of the matter here. You know, Queen of Swords, you got to put your guards up. Got to put your guards up. You got to protect your energy. You're very intelligent, but these people try to prey on you to make it, to break you down when you were the wise one. You know what I mean? You made the wise decisions. You made the right choices. You were dealing with pages here. People that would gossip behind your back. These very same people. What's peeking right here? Knight of Cups. Yeah. Petty offers is what they would come with. Petty apologies. You know, they didn't have much to offer. They didn't have shit to offer, you know, but behind your back, this is what they cause in your life. These people would be competing with you. How are you going to compete with me when you're the one? I'm the one that you always come to. You argue with these people. They fight with you. They compete with you secretly behind your back. They talk about you. They gossip on your back right here. You know what I mean? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They ain't got a pot to piss in, but they got the nerve to be talking about you. You feel me? Yeah. All they created in your life was misery. These people did not have any confidence and they was trying to prey on your confidence with that queen of wands energy. Yeah, they did. They try to pray. They try to break you down because misery love company. And these people was only stopping you and making you feel misery. Cause like I said, they feel, they feel unfulfilled within themselves and they didn't have anything to offer. There was nothing good. These people had to offer. You know what I mean? Nothing good. Nothing compared to what you were giving. You were giving more than what these people were giving. I have to share with your sister. See? So like I said, they was trying to break your confidence down. They was trying to make it seem like you weren't really the smart one. But with all this confidence and wisdom, intelligence, honey, you got the queen of swords energy up. Your confidence, your ambitious, your go-getter. You're very passionate about what you do, you know? And they know this. They know this. They know this. But like I said, you have to be strong. Turn your back, move on, and look forward to your own future. Allow these people to, you know, figure out their own shit, you know. Keep it pushing. Because they weren't never going to do you any... No, look at them. Five of swords and jealous of you. Envious of you. Envious of you. But yet, when they going through their conflicts, when they going through their drama, five of swords, five of wands, and you're the first person they call. Like, really? 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 
Right. Okay, so you have to make a final decision. Didn't I tell you with that judgment? There it go. There it go. Move on. Six of Swords. Because these people were very deceptive. They deceived you one too many times. Okay? Ten of Swords. The ultimate betray. Always betraying you. Then they will flip the script and have you all up in your head tight. Eight of Swords. Okay? Whenever they was in jail. Whenever they got caught up in jail or something like that. You'd be the first one to bail them out. You know what I'm saying? Eight of Swords. These are people who have a very lack mentality. You know, they're insecure within themselves. But when by the time they're done with you, honey, they make you, got you looking in the mirror like you crazy. Eight of Swords, they got you all up in your head. Feel me? That's enough. That's enough. Enough is enough, collective. You feel me? Queen of Pentacles, you're very independent, you're a go-getter, you're ambitious, and the Queen of Pentacles represents an earth angel. Like I said, when I picked up that temperance energy, yeah, these people are just here to hurt you, break your heart. That's all they did. That's all they did was break your heart. For some of y'all who was in a very intimate relationship, Queen of Wands, King of Wands energy here, okay? All they kept, they only wanted to keep it strictly sexual. Didn't I tell you with that moon energy here? Had, had a little, a lot of secrets, hid a lot of things from you. What's this peeking? Justice. Didn't I tell you? There go the justice card. There it go. Some of y'all had to let go of an actual physical marriage here. Okay, had to make a final decision here. Okay, and these people hit, hit a lot of things from you. And a lot of y'all didn't find out a lot of these secrets until the end of the relationship, until you removed yourself from the situation. Because these people right here, like I said, when I say emotionally manipulating, yeah, emotionally manipulating kept you in fear. Just like had your anxiety through the freaking roof. You know what I mean? Yeah, but King of Wands, Queen of Wands, some of them, they only wanted to keep it strictly sexual with you. And all they did was continue to hurt you and sneak and lie behind your back. Okay? Yeah, Knight of Cups energy came in with a petty ass offer. Paid. This is a night energy. Really? Go about your business. Yeah. All these dark secrets that they had on you, trying to play on your emotions. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. But see, baby, you have to put that true love within yourself. Ace of Cups. Put that love into yourself. All this love and all your blessings that you was giving out to other, it was time to put it on give it to you. Self-love, honey. You have to give that love to you. No more of this heartbreak situation. You feel me? No more. No more. Look at this. All this page energy. Page and knights. Page and knights. That's who you were dealing with. People who's jealous of you. People who hate your confidence. People not, that, that knows you're a natural born leader. People that knows that you're a go-getter. You're very passionate. Some of them, you are in a personal relationship with this person. And all they want to do is keep it strictly sexual. Anything that looks good on the outside, they go for the physical beauty. But yet they want to prey on your confidence. Okay? Yet they want to prey on your confidence. Yet they hated when you when you felt good, when you looked good, when you put yourself together. Oh, they try to break you down. Like, yeah, that ain't cute. They try to tell you, oh, you're too fat. Oh, you're too skinny. They, they, try, they come in every way to break your confidence. Hmm? Hurt you. Three of swords. But you realize, you know what? I can't keep giving all this love. I can't keep giving away all my blessings. And yet still I'm being betrayed and stabbed in the back and hurt. No, these people wanted you to stay in isolation and keep you all up in your head. Yeah, so it was time to block them. Time to block them, my collective. Yep, seven of wands. Time to protect your, your energy. Keep it pushing. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, keep it pushing. When y'all get into y'all's judgment, justice here, I feel like somebody had to let go of a relationship. Judgment. Divorce. Okay, let go of the divorce the family members, divorce the person you have a family with, walk away. It was time to walk away, eight of cups them, turn your back. And I feel like ever since you've done so, my collective, I feel like you, with the six of swords, you find a peace of mind. Because I told you I was picking up on that six of swords right here when I seen this six right here. Find a peace of mind, put that shit to rest, heal yourself. There it is. There it is. Listen to your higher self. Raise your awareness. Where is your vibration with that high priestess energy? You feel me? Because you now realize these people was allowing, all they was doing is bringing misery in your life and having you miss your opportunities. And the offers they were giving weren't even as good as the offers that you were giving. You were giving too much to the situation. So it was time to move on. Because these people deceived you and betrayed you one too many times with that ten of swords. It's over. You know what I'm saying? And they want to have you all up in your head like you crazy. These people like to play the victim too. Yeah, they do. Had you feeling like a victim. Like, really? No more. No more. No more. No more tiptoeing on eggshells on me. I'm not tiptoeing around my energy anymore. I'm going to take that energy. I'm going to juggle it out. I'm going to get my finances back in, in, 
in in order i'm gonna get my money right i'm investing in me no more investing in y'all coming with y'all responsibilities how about i take care of my own responsibilities and y'all take care of your own you feel me and you're not doing it let's get the message of love and then we're gonna close out this reading my collective okay yeah no more you close that cycle out done done with this karmic life cycle done with the karmic relationships i'm done no more i'm tired of being the only one in this partnership that's loyal no but yet y'all ain't got no passion for me y'all ain't got no love for me no nah, i'm good some of them they only want to keep it strictly sexual with you you moved on you know what i'm saying it says forgiveness Forgiving yourself and another will help you move forward. There you go, honey. You went through a spiritual awakening as well with this six. Okay? It's a trying for transformation. All right? Awakening. There you go. Because these external parties is intruding on your relationship. Okay? Some of them had third parties on you. Wanted to cheat. Time alone. Retreat. That's what you had to do. Isolate your energy. There you go. You have to isolate. Time alone will help you recharge. Okay? intuition you already know the answer you see didn't i tell you that my collective with that high priestess moon energy here didn't i tell you your intuition is already telling you you already knew what to do you already knew what to do follow your intuition okay follow your intuition what else is going on here spirit what else is the other message true love my collective this is emotional and physical and unconditional Okay, true love. And once you put this love into yourself, all that love, ace of cups that you was putting into others, once you start to give yourself this love, you will receive the real true love that you are deserving of with that ace of cups. No more heartbreak. No more heartbreaks, okay? Time apart will bring clarity because this rejection was God's protection. It says radical release and acceptance and surrender can help you let go and i feel that's what you did when you moved on because these people have no integrity does this align with your morals and your va your values and your morals no it did not they have no integrity okay so yeah i feel like you yeah healing old old wounds childhood issues need revisiting children are an important part to this relationship so some of y'all did have children with this person you was for a fear fear of letting go wanting to keep that family situation going right with that person um but it says right here a new love or recommitment to love is developing yeah i feel like it's more of a new love newfound love for yourself and recommitting a love for to you recommitting that love into you okay yeah yeah all right, my collective. Yeah, somebody was definitely dealing with some addictions here as well. Somebody has addictions here as well, okay? This six to me is like the darker side of this person, okay, or these people. Okay, you tired of, tired of bailing them out of jail, tired of bailing them out of their karmic situation. And then they turn around and they never pay you back. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what I have for you, my collective. I wish you guys love and light. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's your girl, Unknown Guidance. Love, light, and peace once again.